What's up everyone? I'm Jamieezy3000. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you being here. In today's video, I am going to break down and show you a little more in-depth look into the slab case pack. But before I do, let me first say this is in no way, shape or form sponsored by Zion Cases Company. Shout out to them though. They make a very good product. And that's why I'm here making this video, just because it's something I wholeheartedly believe in. If you don't know about them, I feel like more people should. Also, let me throw this out there and say this is not a product that I just happened to find out about and purchase and decided to sit down and do a video. I actually went to Collecticon here in Dallas where I first saw the item. I saw the company. That was my first instance learning about Zion Cases Company. And I saw the value. I saw the value in it. I purchased it. And I toted that thing around Collecticon. It did me well. Not only that, I ended up going to New York Comic Con, as some of you may know. And from Dallas to New York Comic Con, this was my carry-on item. This was my luggage. So this thing is battle-tested, theory-tested. I've taken it from one state to another. Still went all around New York Comic Con. And I truly, truly believe in this product. So with that being said, let's get into a little bit of the breakdown and the ins and outs of the slab case pack. Okay, now let's get into the backpack visual and appearance itself. Never mind my backpack bling. Those are just some little customizable items that I like to throw on there and kind of make it my own. But the overall appearance itself, I love the simplistic and sleek design. Just, I love the color black as well as the hints of subtle red, a little bit of dash of white just to make it pop a little bit. But you'll notice this kind of sleek design all the way through. It's very, very discreet, low key, but also kind of has a professional look and feel to it. Like I'm here for business, I'm here to do what I do and I do it well. Okay, next we're still gonna keep it on the outer appearance of the backpack itself. I wanna get into the compartments and the options you have just on the outside alone. First of all, noticeably the first opening right here, you can see. It is a big enough opening. It actually goes all the way to about the center of the backpack and it's as big as the slit is. So from top to bottom, all the way to the center. So you still have that wide open compartment for whatever items you may need. We come over to the side. You obviously have holsters on both sides that's held by a little bit of elastic to keep it nice and tight. And then moving to the back end, on the straps, you got zippers on both sides. I really like these compartments so when you're wearing it at a convention or anything like that i like to keep my personal belongings like my id or my wallet my cash just right here easy to grab easy to get to when i'm making a transaction also notably you'll see you got this kind of holster right here too which i didn't even notice until the shooting of this video there's also a compartment under here that unzips and it's a big enough it's from top to bottom just a big enough space for whatever else you need to get right there then rounding off to the other end, you got obviously another holster, like I said, with your outlet charger that will link up to like a power bank if you needed to. It goes into a USB that's uh, on the inside, nice and secure. So that was a really cool feature as well that I thought it had. And also I did almost forget to notice the top compartment right up here that opens up just an extra little storage for some items that you need to get in there. Okay, moving on to the inside components of the backpack, we are gonna open up First, the front part of the backpack, and as you lift it up, you can see this kind of mesh material lining with this openable pouch. You can kind of get some items in there, as well as two extra slots right here, maybe for penny sleeves, top loaders, whatever you need, and two compartments for two writing utensils, maybe if you're getting some autographs or something like that. I thought that was a really nice touch, but just so you could get a more of a general idea of how big this thing really is, you got the slab case to go in here, which we're gonna get into that a little bit more, but just so you guys can see the depth of how much is really into this backpack. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera, but we got the slab case to go, which like I said, we're gonna get into this a little bit here in just a second, but you can see how big and hefty this is. It fits nice and snug in the backpack, leaving you with a bunch of room if you're not carrying around the slab case to go. Okay, so we are still in the front half of the backpack. Like I said, if you're not traveling with the travel case to go, this still leaves you with a bunch of room to get whatever else you need in here. And like I mentioned, this is that USB outlet that you can plug up to a power bank, keep your things nice and charged. It does have a lining of some pretty firm styrofoam and that's 
all the way around. So whatever you have in here, you're gonna feel safe. You're gonna feel secure. You got an extra compartment right here on the side. Also some nice elastic straps to keep whatever you have on this back side nice and secure. I was using this for comic books. I was carrying around a good amount of comic books. They fit nice and snug. This helps keep them down so not everything is moving around so much. And it's easy, you just disconnect it like that. Now moving on to the back end of the backpack because everything I just showed you is in the front compartment. Moving on to the back side, you open it up. You have an extra opening and then two extra slots if you need them again with another strand of elastic to help keep everything nice and secure from moving around. One is deeper than the other. The front one goes a little bit shorter, but the back one is the length, the whole length of the backpack. So from top to bottom, you have that extra storage space right there and it's nicely lined with this material. It just feels very sleek, very nice, very professional and like you're gonna have your thing secured. Okay, now we're gonna get into the slab case to go, which I really like the design, the color scheme. I really like how this thing is put together. Okay, so mentioning how it's put together, it feels very durable. Another feature that I really love, you actually have your combination codes right here that you can set up to whatever code you deem fit. Keep them locked and secured. Pops right open and then you got your slabs. Okay, now getting into your slabs, this goes actually pretty deep. So you can hold a hefty amount of slabs in here. I'm still working on my slab collection, so forgive me. I don't have it full, I'm still working on it. But you got the lining up top, just in case stuff does move around, you know it's gonna be nice and safe. And then as well as the surrounding, all of this that you see that's red right here, I'm sorry, I'm making the camera shake. You can see this is still a nice and sturdy foam. Very nice, very snug, very secure. It keeps everything in place. So it is a little peace of mind, if you will. So there you go, there you have it. My breakdown, my review of Zion Cases Company Slab Case Pack, as well as the Slab Case To Go. I will say this is my first review of a product of anything like this on my channel. So let me know how I did. Let me know what you thought of the product. Let me know what you just thought in general. Leave it down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, or share it to somebody that you might know that may be interested in something like this. Appreciate you guys again for checking out the video and spending a little bit of time with me. I will see you on the next one. Peace. Ah, oh, gee. <laughs>